Dynamic Force employment is a, a great tool that allows us to have aircraft in theater where they need to be just in time, not just in case. Uh, it also shows to any potential adversaries as well as to our partners and allies that the U.S. can quickly get air power to the region to the point of need, ready to operate within hours of giving the go-ahead. The benefit for the units is they come to a part of the world where they might have to conduct combat operations. Uh, they get used to operating in the environment and they get to do different types of missions than they could, let's say, if they were a stateside based unit. Another purpose was to continue the training, get the experience for the air crew, uh, the maintainers, uh, everybody throughout the squadron, get the experience of an actual deployment, and then also uh, to get some experience working with partner nations. You know, I think sometimes people forget that we're not the Air Force component, we're the air component. And so, as the air component, we're going to be joint and multinational. Getting the Marines is great. They conduct the same missions, but they do it in, in a little bit different manner based on their training and their previous taskings, and so we learn. And then, if uh, in the future, if they were tasked to come out here, you know, they'll have familiarity with the uh, CENTCOM region. That will benefit them, allow them to get right up to speed quickly you know, in a combat situation just as they have in the DFE. Our goal has been, and we've been successful each time, that any DFE unit that comes out here departs the theater with a higher level of readiness than they had when they arrived. That's because of the unique missions that they can do during their time here.